So I'm sure we have all heard about the unfortunate news regarding the tourists who died because of methanol poisoning. These are American, British and Australian tourists who went to Laos on a backpacking trip. They were staying in a backpacking hostel. And following a night out, they took ill. They ended up in hospital in intensive care. But unfortunately, they couldn't make it. Now, this has brought the attention to methanol. What is methanol? Methanol is a colorless liquid that looks and tastes similar to alcohol. Methanol is used in cleaners, industrial products like antifreeze, paint remover, cellular manufacture, dyes, inks, and even cement. Now, there are different risks of exposure in terms of inhalation, ingestion, and absorption through the skin. With absorption through the skin, you would expect to have conditions like dermatitis, dizziness, nausea, headaches. However, ingestion tends to be the most fatal route because methanol is lethal even in very small amounts. In terms of ingestion, if methanol is absorbed through the gut, it then goes into the bloodstream and the body now breaks it down to formaldehyde and formic acid in the liver. With ingestion, as little as 10 mil, you can get blurry of vision and even optical blindness. And that's because of damage to the optic nerve. While ingestion as much as 15 mil can lead to coma and even death. So basically, methanol poisoning has to be treated very quickly. Now, some people can intentionally drink methanol either from your windshield washing fluids, which is used as windscreen wipers, maybe as an act of suicide, for instance. But as I said, even small amounts can be very lethal to the body. It is reported that at least 1,700 people die from methanol every year, rather, whether it's through accidental ingestion or through deliberate exposure. And in some cases, you might not get symptoms straight away. It might take up to 24 hours for the symptoms to appear. In terms of treatment, you want to use an antidote. The preferred choice of antidote is called fromiprazole. But if fromiprazole is not available, then ethanol, also known as alcohol, which is more widely available, is used. And what they do is, is that they compete with the binding sites of methanol to displace the methanol from the body. If you have organ damage, then you might need hemodialysis, which involves filtering of the toxic substances from the kidneys. And other treatments might include sodium bicarbonate, IV, folate, as well as thiamine, which is similar to what you would do if you had alcohol poisoning. In terms of the backpackers and the tourists, I have no idea of how much methanol was ingested, but it was toxic enough to eventually cause death. And this is a warning to everyone out there who goes to bars, night outs and clubs, that you need to be very careful about where you're buying your drinks from. Do not buy from cheap places or cheap bars and do not take any drinks from strangers. Always buy from reputable places, places that are well known. Hang around your friends. Don't be isolated or go out alone. Do not dabble in hard drugs because in these Southeast Asian countries, hard drugs such as your ketamine, pink cocaine, meth, molly, are quite commonly used and are very cheap to obtain compared to your western countries. Now I hope you found this video useful, please feel free to subscribe to my channel.